Pride is celebration. Many show girls and drag queens strutting their high heels all over the street. Pride is community. Pride is joy. Es amor. Es apañe. Es encuentro. It is saying to the world, we are here and you will never put us back in our closet again. I was 18 years old, May 10th, 1969. And I moved to New York with no job, no prospects, no money. Uh, but I was going to find people like me. I got off the train that night and went looking for the LGBT community. There were no neon signs saying, this way to the gay people. But eventually I found myself at Christopher Street and Nirvana. Every night for us, at the end of the night, you would end up at Stonewall. It was illegal to dance, it was illegal to hold hands, it was illegal to kiss, but inside that bar, we felt safe. Oh, the police would come in, they would take a payoff, and they would leave. With the exception of that night. The police barged through the doors, they started breaking up the bar, they started throwing bottles around, they slammed people up against the wall. It was horrific, it was scary, I was frightened. For a moment, I probably felt the lowest I've ever felt in my life. No one cared about us. No one would protect us. Um, we were on our own. Eventually, somehow, by the time I got outside those doors, I began to get angry. I said to myself, this is the height of the Cultural Revolution in the United States, 1969. Women are fighting for their rights. Black people are fighting for their rights. Latinos are fighting for their rights. What about our rights? And every day since then, we began to organize. We demonstrated against media. We demonstrated against the police themselves. We created the world's first LGBT community center. If all of that were not enough in one year, at the end of it, we created Christian Street Liberation Day Committee, which was the first pride. Before Stonewall, only a hundred activists willing to show their faces in America. On that day, 15,000. And today, if you look around the world, there are millions. So Pride has now become this hugely significant uh, event for the global LGBTI movement. Would you be interested in hearing how activists around the world experience Pride? Oh, absolutely. Merhaba. Yusuf, great to meet you. Hola, Mark. Lovely meeting you. Come on, I'm doing well. It's Pride Month, and that always makes me happy. Hey, Mark. Hello, Maddie. How are you? I'm awesome. Glad to meet you. So happy to meet you, too. Hi, Mark. Hello, Rafta. Can you hear me okay? I hear you perfectly. Can I ask all of you what Pride is like in your country? This is the third year of the official Pride Parade in Thailand. This year, not only in Bangkok, we have about 40 provinces. So all over the month, it's going to be a rainbow in Thailand. <laughs> We don't get much of the physical abuse or street harassment in Thailand, but the laws in our country is not allowed for LGBTQ people to have rights. Yes, we are on the way to marriage equality, but there's a lot of opposition against the gender recognition law and also for trans people. We are all witnessing that right-wing swing, and the most oppressed of all of us are our trans people and non-gender. İlk ona yürüyüşüm 2017'de oldu ve o yıl Ramazan bahanesiyle biber gazlarıyla, coplarla bize saldırdılar basın açıklamamızı okumaya başlamadan. Yani açıkçası şu an ee, toplumsal bütün kesimler olarak sokağa çıkmamızın e, imkansız olduğu bir sürecin içerisindeyiz. 
göz al, yani hukuksal olarak biraz protesto hakkımız nasıl engelleniyor bunu söyleyebilirim. Ama tüm bunlara rağmen de e, yine sokaklardayız ve direniyoruz. Onur yürüyüşü benim için bir direniş demek. Yusuf, I cannot tell you how much I admire uh, what you are doing. The most important tool that we as an LGBTQI community have is our own visibility. Para mí tiene, está bueno el orgullo, más allá de que a veces todo eh, se pone medio comercial y tal, para las personas que realmente sentimos eh, el orgullo como un momento de celebración, como un momento de encontrarnos, como un momento de, de lucha también. Y estamos siendo bastante perseguidos acá en Argentina, entonces es muy importante que participemos, es muy importante que estemos comprometidos, es muy importante dar una mano en donde se pueda dar en nuestra comunidad. El derecho a la protesta está siendo amenazado con eh, quieren alargar una ley antiterrorista eh, en donde básicamente te pueden allanar tu casa, buscar eh, elementos de si participaste en una protesta o no eh, y en la peor parte que es eh, el miedo que es desactivar a las personas. My personal experience of being an activist for 55 years that every time there's a backlash, we come out of the other end of that backlash stronger and better as a community. As long as we, we remember these things, be out loud and proud, be visible and be united as a community. Pride is fairly new in Botswana. We started in 2019. That was immediately after the High Court decision to decriminalize same-sex sexual acts. It was such a safe um, space to be in, and I'm really, really grateful that I got to be a part of that moment. It was a beautiful moment. It was a very happy moment for me. There's a lot of backlash from the evangelical Christians in Botswana. They're coming up with this concept about homosexuality being an African and our existence being a threat to family values. So pride for us uh, needs to show that sense of community where it's not just for queer persons. We, we have everybody in pride spaces regardless of their sexual orientation or the way they choose to express. Maddie, you are a pioneer. That will be seen by thousands of people who don't understand who we are. Thank you, Mark. I'm so I'm super excited about meeting you. I'm so so so excited. It's important for us now to be visible because we need to say queer people are African. I am here. I'm black. I'm a Mutswana, and I'm queer. And it's just the reality that they have to live with. So great. Vamos a seguir siempre luchando y, y eso creo que es también el orgullo. Y creo eso, que es maravilloso que nos podamos encontrar, es muy maravilloso para mí, es, no sé, es hermoso, es un montón y estoy muy agradecida, muy agradecida y... Hepimizin çok güçlü ve tüm bu nefrete karşı birlikte olduğumuzu söylemek istiyorum ve iyi ki LGBT artıyız ve yaşıyoruz. Gelecek onurayımız kutlu ve umutlu olsun. I understand and I feel that there is so much pressure and so much suffering that we we've been through and we are going to have but I just want you to remember that we as a queer people are not alone and we as a queer people are in solidarity all over the world be free be proud pride yeah <laughs> i'm lucky to have been around for 55 years of this movement if we stay visible and continue to fight for our rights it's something that's so logical because after all the reality is is that we are the brothers sisters mothers aunts and uncles and co-workers and friends but they might not know that and it's so nice to meet activists from so many places around the world who get that message and they themselves are fighting back 
every time there's a pride parade, more and more people decide, you know what, it's about time I join and come out. I've been thrilled by some of these conversations to see that there are people who understand the message of pride, which is visibility. I'm saddened at times to see how the regimes in their country、um, try to suppress that visibility, and it gives me hope for the future. I could have never dreamed that one pride from 1970 would then create a worldwide movement for equality.